Hello, my name is Brian D. Barton, and I would like to welcome you to this Wednesday's edition of The Word Is Your Stage, where you control the outcome. And last week, I talked to you about getting from point A to point B in your life. And I stated that in order for you to even begin the process, you first have to have an idea of what you want to do or where you want to go in your life. So now that you've decided or discovered what you want to do in your life, there are some things that are required for you to begin your journey. Now, oftentimes when people are exploring or beginning the process of going to a direct destination, there are some things that they need before they make their trip. Now, one of the things you may require is a map. And a map gives you an overall outlook of where you want to go in your life. But then there are some necessary equipment that you need to make sure that you sustain throughout your, your trip. And lastly, you need an expected time of arrival. And I'm gonna show you why these things are important. Because first of all, you need the map to have an overall layout of type of things that you are expecting to occur in your life, the type of terrains, whether there's gonna be mountains, rivers, peaks, and valleys that you're gonna have to cross. So it gives you a general overview of what to expect in your trip, but also it shows you the direction that you need to go in order to get to your destination. But secondly, you also need the right equipment. You're gonna need food, you're gonna need the proper clothing, you're gonna need maybe a tent for shelter. You're gonna need all those necessities, bug repellent, those things that allow you for, to allow for you to survive on your trip. But even more so, after you get all that out the way, you have to have some sort of expected time of arrival. You have to give yourself a timeline because normally what happens when people take trips and they're ill-prepared is that they run out of supplies. And a lot of that has to do with the fact that they didn't take into account how long it would take for them to get to their direct destination. So the same thing applies in your life. The first thing you need to do is to have a plan. And the plan serves as a map. Why? Because the plan allows you to outline the course that you need to take in your life to achieve success. The next thing you need is information. The information serves as the equipment. It gives you the type of skill sets. It gives you all the things that you need to know in order for you to continue your journey to success. And lastly, give yourself that timeline. Why? Because the thing that a timeline does is it keeps you in action. Because one thing that people get caught up into is the fact that we will procrastinate. And not having that timeline will allow for you to just push things further and further and further away. So one of the things I want to talk to you about today, it deals with having that equipment. Now the last video, I talked to you about having a compass or, or letting that desire be the compass in your life. And that goes under the equipment because when explorers take their journeys, they never leave without their compass. And when I said to you is that in order for you to have success in your journey, you have to allow for your desires to serve as that compass in your life. And I'm gonna tell you what those desires do. That desire is what directs you to achieve your goals. Now, if you notice that there is some sort of attraction or that there is some sort of feeling that you get when you decide to, to achieve a certain goal or, or if there's something that you really, really want and you feel like there is something that's, that's attracting you or driving you towards that, it's that inner compass inside of you. And the thing is with the compass is that if you think of an actual physical compass, regardless of where you turn in your life, that compass wants to point north. Why? Because that is the only job for that compass to do. It has a magnetic attraction. That compass always dreams about North. All it wants to do is go North. And so when we follow that inner drive within ourselves, it acts as a compass. Because even when we go astray, it's something that's pulling us to where we need to be in life. So follow that inner compass. Make sure you're properly equipped. Make sure you have everything in your life mapped out and give yourself a timeline because the world is your stage and you control the outcome. So map up your life, follow your compass, and God bless you.